Gilead or Gilad, Hebrew, Gilead Arabic, Jalad is the name of three people and two geographic places in the Bible. Gilead may mean hill of testimony. It is derived from Gald, which in turn comes from Gal heap, mound, hill, and ed witness, testimony. There also exists an alternative theory that it means rocky region. It is now within the Kingdom of Jordan. Places. Gilead was a mountainous region east of the Jordan River divided among the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and Manasseh, and situated in Jordan. It is also referred to by the Aramaic name Yeger Sahadutha, which carries the same meaning as the Hebrew Gild, namely, heap of stones of testimony. Genesis 31 verses 47–48. From its mountainous character, it is called the Mount of Gilead Genesis 31 verse 25. Gilead Arabic, Jalad is an Arabic term used to refer to the mountainous land extending north and south of Jabbok. It was used more generally for the entire region east of the Jordan River. It corresponds today to the northwestern part of the Kingdom of Jordan. The name Gilead first appears in the biblical account of the last meeting of Jacob and Laban Genesis 31 According to Easton's Bible Dictionary, it refers to a region in Transjordan, approximately 20 by 60 miles in area. It is called also the Land of Gilead Numbers 32 verse 1, Judges 10 verse 4 in many translations, and sometimes simply Gilead Genesis 37 verse 25, Judges 10 verse 8, Psalm 60 verse 9. As a whole, it included the tribal territories of Gad, Reuben, and the eastern half of Manasseh Deuteronomy 3 verse 13, Numbers 32 verse 40. In the Book of Judges, the thirty sons of the biblical judge Jer controlled the thirty towns of Gilead Judges 10 verse 4, and in the first Book of Chronicles, Segub controlled twenty-three towns in Gilead 1 Chronicles 2 verses 21–22. It was bounded on the north by Bashan, and on the south by Moab and Ammon. Genesis chapter 31 verse 21, Deuteronomy chapter 3 verses 12 to 17. Half Gilead was possessed by Sihon, and the other half, separated from it by the river Jabbok, by Og, king of Bashan. The deep ravine of the river Hieromax, the modern Shariat El Mandor, separated Bashan from Gilead, which was about 60 miles (97 kilometers) in length and 20 miles (32 kilometers) in breadth, extending from near the south end of the Lake of Gensere to the north end of the Dead Sea. Abiram, Pisgah, Nebo, and Peor are its mountains mentioned in Scripture. Gilead, mentioned in the Book of Hosea, may refer to Ramoth Gilead, Jabesh Gilead, or the whole Gilead region. Gilead is a city of those who work iniquity, it is stained with blood." Hosea 6 verse 8. After King Sihon was defeated, the tribe of Reuben, tribe of Gad, and half the tribe of Manasseh were assigned to the area. Ammon and Moab sometimes expanded to include southern Gilead. King David fled to Mahanaim in Gilead during the rebellion of Absalom. Gilead is later mentioned as the homeplace of the prophet Elijah. King Tiglath Pileser III of Assyria says he established the province of Galazu. Gilead. People Gilead may also refer to a grandson of Manasseh and son of Mashir, Makir, ancestor of the Aizarites and Helikites and of Segub. Numbers 26 verses 28 to 30 and 1 Chronicles 2 verse 21. He also may have been the founder of the Israelite tribal group of Gilead, which is mentioned in biblical passages which textual scholars attribute to early sources. Textual scholars regard the genealogy in the Book of Numbers, which identifies Gilead as Mashir's son, as originating in the Priestly Source, a document written centuries after the early Je source, in which the Gilead and Mashir tribal groups are mentioned, and possibly having been written to rival the Je source. Biblical scholars view the biblical genealogies as postdiction, an eponymous metaphor providing an etiology of the connectedness of the group to others in the Israelite confederation. The identification of Gilead as an aspect of Manasseh was the traditional explanation of why the tribal groups of Mashir and Gilead are mentioned along with northern tribes in the ancient Song of Deborah, while Manasseh is absent from it. 
The text of the Book of Numbers appears to portray Gilead as the father of Azrael, but the Book of Chronicles states that Manasseh was the father of Azrael. It is possible for there to have been two different Azraels, though Manasseh is only indicated as having had one son, Mashir, in the genealogy of the Book of Numbers. The son of Michael and father of Jero, in the Gadite genealogies, 1 Chronicles chapter 5 verses 11 to 14. The father of Jephthah, Judges chapter 11 verse 1, in Hebrew, Gild transcribed Gilad or Gilad, is used as a male given name and is often analyzed as deriving from Gile, Gil, happiness, joy, and D ad, eternity, forever, i.e., eternal happiness. Other uses Gilead is the theocratic nation which replaces the United States in Margaret Atwood's dystopic novel The Handmaid's Tale. Mentioned in verse 15 of Edgar Allan Poe's 1845 poem The Raven. The first title of a multi-generational trilogy by Marilyn Robinson. The story is about fathers and sons and the spiritual battles that still rage at America's heart. The title of the trilogy comes from the fictional setting of the town in the novel, Gilead novel, Iowa. Gilead is the fictional home of Roland Discane and capital of the barony of New Canaan from Stephen King's series The Dark Tower. Gilead Sciences is the name of an American biopharmaceutical company. See also Bomb of Gilead Mashir Mashir tribal group Shibboleth tribe of Manasseh